Hello, today I would like to present my physics project. In this project, the focus question is how can a human analyze transformation based on physics concepts and laws in day-to-day -day life activities. The big question is why do visionary leaders adapt? There are two outcomes in total, which is first, able to develop a forward-thinking design based on the understanding of Newton's law of motion, and the second, is able to analyze a daily life problem based on the principles of work, energy, and power. These are the definitions of forces that will be used in this presentation. Next, th this is the Newton's law of motion. The first Newton's law of motion is inertia, the second is acceleration, and third is action and reaction. Okay, in this free body diagram, we are able to see the physics concept of weight, tension, normal forces, Newton's first law of motion, inertia, and law of conservation. In this picture, we are able to see the uh, normal force of friction, then tension, and weight. The weight will always be doing, going down, and the tension is on the rope between, of the horse and the arms of the child, uh, and the Fn is always going up. In this picture, we are able to see Newton's law of inertia. The law of inertia states that when an object rests, it will stay at rest unless it is acted upon an unbalanced force. This law can be seen in this picture where the horse is at rest, meaning that the horse would stay at rest. The law of conservation can also be seen from this picture. The child is riding a horse, meaning that the child would not fall. The average height of a pony horse is roughly 147 cm tall, and the average weight of a child is 18 kg. From those variables, we are able to find the potential energy by using the formula of mass times gravity times height. We are able to find the potential energy of 264.4 joules. Next is kinetic energy, which have the formula of half times mass times velocity in the power of 2. From that, we are able to find the kinetic energy of 0 meters per second squared. Now we have found potential, the potential energy and as well as the kinetic energy. The mechanical energy has the formula of potential energy plus kinetic energy. By doing so, we are able to find the mechanical energy of 264.4 joules. Next, this is the second body diagram. From this body free body diagram, we are able to find uh, the physics concept of weight, tension, normal forces, Newton's second law of motion, and third law of motion. From this picture, we, it is there are two uh, diagrams in total, which is the first is the front view and the second is the side view. The first view, we are able to see the child and the mother is holding hands, which will see tension. Then when a person is walking, there will be friction as they are pushing their leg to the ground. The weight and Fn will always be the same, which is the weight will be going down and the uh, Fn will be going up. In this picture, uh, we are able to see the second law of motion. When a per walking person is capable, a, per a walking person is capable of accelerating. This will result in the increase of speed. When a person is standing still, they are at rest, and when they start walking, they are accelerating. By, do 
we are able to see the second law of motion. The third law of motion is that when a person is walking, they are exerting energy through their legs, and by doing so, they are also pushing, being pushed forward. This relates to Newton's third law of motion that states that forces applied will be exerted in the same amount. Now, this is the answer to my big question. Vision leaders need to adapt in order to know their current conditions as well as their future conditions in order to lead properly. And the answer to the focus question is transformations happen every day, specifically Newton's law of motion and forces. When something moves, it can be analyzed by physics concepts. Thank you.